adding and deleting columns in the grade center. In this lesson, you will learn how to do the following. Create a grade center column. Delete a grade center column. Once you have logged into Blackboard Learn and navigated to the course of your choice, follow these steps to add and delete columns in the grade center. From the control panel, click Grade Center. From the expanded Grade Center menu, click Full Grade Center. In the Grade Center, click Create Column. Enter the information in the Column Information fields. The column name is a required field. The Grade Center name is an optional field. The Grade Center name displays in place of the column name in the Grade Center. This is for the instructor view only. This can be used to create a condensed Grade Center name. Enter a description. This is an optional field. From the Primary Display drop-down menu, select a Grade Display format. This is a required field. Primary Display is the preferred format for grades to be displayed in both the instructor and student views. Grades must be entered as percentages and Blackboard Learn changes the entry to match the preferred format. If letter grade is chosen, edit the associated schema to align with the requirements of your course. For more information, see Creating and Editing Grading Schemas in the Digital Library. From the Secondary Display drop-down menu, select a Grade Display Format. This is an optional field. The secondary display appears in parentheses behind the primary display in the instructor's full Grade Center view only. Secondary display information is not visible in student view. From the Category drop-down menu, select a category. This is an optional field. Use categories to group items such as assignments, tests, or discussions. This is useful when using calculated columns to figure grades. Enter the number of points possible. This is a required field. If this is an extra credit assignment, enter zero so students will not be docked points if it's incomplete. From the Add Rubric drop-down menu, select or create a rubric. This is optional. For more information, see the Instructional Guide for Rubrics in the Digital Library. Enter the due date for the assignment. When you click the box, the current date will populate the fields. You can change this date and time by using the suggested formats of month, month, day, day, year, year. If you click the clock, you can choose a time to have your assignment the due date populates the assignment to the course calendar and the notifications page. Select options needed for desired course view. Once you have made your selections, click Submit. To delete a Grade Center column, follow these instructions. Click the drop-down arrow on the Grade column to be deleted. Click Delete Column. Click OK, but understand that once this column is deleted, the action cannot be undone. Grade columns created automatically for a graded assignment cannot be deleted until the assignment itself is removed from the course content. Deleting an assignment in the course does not delete the grade column in the grade Center. From the Grade Column drop-down menu, you can also complete these actions. Quick Column Information. This is an overview of settings and information for the column. View Grade History. This allows you to view grades over time. Edit Column Information. This allows you to modify previously chosen column settings. Column Statistics. This provides an overview of statistics such as grades, averages, mean, etc. Set as external grade. Faculty must manually enter final grades into My UCA. Show and hide to users. This option makes visible or invisible to the student. Sort ascending. Sort the grade center by the lowest to highest value. Sort descending. This allows you to sort the grade center by highest to lowest value. Hide column. This makes the column invisible in instructor view. If you have comments or suggestions, please email idc at uca.edu. You can find written step-by-step -step instructions of this tutorial in the digital library at www.uca.edu.